Velma is the adult reboot spinoff reimagining hybrid monster created by Mindy Kaling. Garbage day! And I only have one question. Is it crack? Is that what you smoke? Do you smoke crack? Who was this show for? Kids who are fans of Scooby-Doo can't watch the series due to its adult nature. Not that they want to watch the show considering there's no Scooby-Doo. And the show is as far removed from the IP Scooby-Doo and its characters as physically possible. Adults aren't going to want to watch the show either because they have ears and eyes. And genuinely, usually, at least where I come from, don't like e poop. But let's break down some other reasons why the show is, well, awful. There's no Scooby-Doo. You had one job. The characters have been altered both physically and personality-wise to barely be recognizable to the counterparts most people associate, well, the characters with. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? They have been race spent randomly as if trying to hit some internet diversity bingo card. It's not going you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't going Mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. Without any care or attention put into their race besides harmful stereotypes, Velma is a self-insert from Mindy Kaling. Daphne is treated like an object more than she's ever been treated before in any other iteration of the character, and she's also objectified in lots of creepy ways considering she's a minor in this. They all are. That's the sound of the police! Norvell, who is supposed to be shaggy, is filled with harmful black stereotypes and treated like just terrible in every way imaginable. And Fred is written in such a way that has such overwhelming malice directed towards him that I can only assume he's a stand-in for someone the creator knew in her personal life. It's funny you should say that, because I was looking through some old photos and it looks very, uh... Similar. The series is filled with dated humor, resentful towards even having to be associated with the IP of Scooby-Doo, and genuinely written so awful that I struggle to even begin to know where to start with what is wrong with the series beyond saying everything. The show is offensive to so many different groups, filled with harmful racial stereotypes, sexualizing minors, trivializing assault victims, and the handicap, and filled with this nihilistic edgelord writing that feels like it's trying to be Family Guy, South Park, or Rick and Morty, yet only knows how to copy the weaknesses of those shows and none of the admitted strengths that made them liked in the first place. Maybe a few years ago the show could have gotten by with some go-to tactics of fandom baiting to try and generate artificial content controversy to work as a shield against criticism for the show, but that doesn't seem possible anymore. Almost everyone has been rejecting the show except for paid journalists at this point. In many ways, Velma is the final boss of projects that have been handled to people who don't care about the IP they now have control over. Maybe they resent the IP. Maybe this is just a vanity project for them. Maybe they don't understand it at all. Or maybe they're just hoping to make a quick buck off it. This has happened before time and time again with many other projects Hollywood has sunken its claws into. The Mummy remake. Fan 4 Stick, The Karate Kid, Charlie's Angels remake, Ghostbusters 2016, any live action Disney remake, shit. Anything Bob Iger has had direct control over in the last 10 years has suffered from this in some way, shape, or form. In so many other properties that have been terribly mishandled by executives, studios, directors, and writers who don't care about the IP, only what they can get out of the IP. Velma joins this list, but hopefully this may be a turning point where we as a society can let these programs finally die. Diversity isn't the problem with Velma. It's not caring about how you write diverse people beyond how they look for your optics, and pushing a terrible perception of equality that is just an excuse to push down and push for a different type of supremacy. Adult animation isn't the problem with Velma. It's using it as an excuse to strip away everything loved about an IP that has always been for everyone of all ages and backgrounds. There have been several reimaginings of Scooby-Doo over the years, official and fan-created, and none of them have lost the meaning of the IP as much as this has, unless we're talking about literal porn parodies. And finally, despite what some idiots will say, Mindy's race, gender, or religion isn't the problem with the show. It's that Mindy and her team are just bad writers, and the show is a vanity project that has zero interest in what made Scooby-Doo a beloved IP in the first place. So to answer the question of what I asked at the beginning of this video, 
who was this show for? Well, it was a vanity project for the creator. The lesson to take away from all these other movies, shows, comics, IPs that have been mishandled is that if you let people who only care about an IP, as long as they can transform it into a cash grab, a vanity project, instead of actually telling an interesting story that is born from a genuine understanding and love of the IP, you're going to be met with failure. And there's only so long you can try fandom baiting to stir up artificial controversy to cover your ass. I'm sure there will be some in the media that try to shine a light on whatever neckbeard hates the show for all the wrong reasons. Make no mistake, Velma is a dumpster fire of a show rolled in a trash burrito. And the problems with the series have everything to do with the writing, regardless of the wrong reasons some people will find a reason to hate on it. It's a bad show and the writing is to blame. Well, that's the end of the video, and thank you for making it to the very end of it. Thank you for the more trillion subscribers, views, and likes. Thank you to my dedicated Patreon supporters, Molly, M, Emily, and everyone else who helps keep the channel up and running. Love you, my friends, and I'll see you for the next video.